領域展開。無料空所。Reflection of the Earth enhances Titan's iconic feet. Titan block makes him capable of blocking threats, blocking tasks from behind while restoring soul and health. Yeah, okay. Heaven Foundry is now available. Okay, anything else? There must be another side mission that was about that, right? Is that it? Oh, you know, I ain't even peed that she was walking around with us, huh? Are you like the elder of this village? I'm like, I did to see no real like elders or anything. Like, I seen the elder people here, but like the actual elders who ruined this village, I'm assuming she is the leader. I think. Also, the fact that you're you have a baby that's a dominant is actually crazy. <laughs> hey, I need to buy something off of you. What you got here, bro? Uh you uh your weapons aren't really and not really all that well, just the same thing as with um bro be making that the uh, hideaway. It's alright, nothing too crazy though. It's alright. Any of you only make legendary weapons either. It's Star and Cry. Yeah, but my current weapon is better, so there's no real reason for me to even invest in buying anything here. A good tide here. All right. Pursue a knowledge. Well, for what I see here, it's not too far away. All right. Let's go find this guy's daughter. Excuse me. You haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka. I have, as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village? Alone? Aye. She does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. It's safe as you like. The beast of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. I've been there before. Before I came to the village, so yes, I know it's down there. And just because Beast ain't showed up all the way up to this point, don't you think it's a little dangerous to let a young girl go all the way out here by herself? Yeah, it's just a river up here now. Oh, I uh, guess I was wrong. No yeah, we're right here, kiddo. It's you! I've been looking everywhere for you. You must be Rooker. You know my name? Can you lot read minds? <laughs> Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. <laughs> everything might be a stretch. Thank you for bringing her home, and uh, sorry for the trouble. Oh no, it was a pleasure. Daddy, did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities they call them, and in these cities they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here, so we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. 
A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we make do with what we've got, including what the old northern has left us. Yes. You built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. Uh, which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Well, now the store's open, and I can buy things, so... Thanks for bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks. Like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, where's the route you wanted? This... this is all we have. Oh, okay. Well, that's okay. I'll take it. It's actually better than what I have now. If you're sure you need it. It's better than what I have, so yeah, I will need it. Hmm, I don't know if I want to use that or not, but then again, it is better. It drops it down to 45. You know what? Yeah. May it serve you well. I'm sure it will. And I'll take that as well. Here you are. Very well. All right. What do you think the tributary sees in those outsiders? How long do you think this point is? Let's go see Leviathan or the baby, <laughs> or however that situation is going. Oh, there! I wish there were more side missions to do, but I suppose the place ain't so ain't that big, so it's not really that much you can per se do here. Of ships just up ahead. Fathers fail. But are we not still leagues from the shore? Hmm. Well, let's just hope we have some more creatures to fight along the way. So this trail doesn't go by too fast. Yeah. Y'all saw how I had to cook. To the surge is due east. Past the second galley. Wait, what's this way? I mean, that's the past way. What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Hmm. Really, brother? Did you have to ask? I mean, it's kind of a good point. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Otherwise, I think it's angry. It's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. There's nothing here. Okay, that was disappointing. I was hoping there would be something here. Seemed like I'm kind of boss battle or something like this was happening here. It seemed like it, but then yeah, I could be wrong. But that's nah, still crazy though that the, the dominant here is literally a baby. They cannot age or on some real avatar shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, some real avatar shit. The baby can't age, so it's like it's just like it's. The icon going out of the control. It's like, dang, that's crazy. Whoa, this place is all right. I was wrong. This place is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Mm. 
That it? That's it. Surely I can go past this one little point here, right? Trail only leads deeper into the forest. We should head back. No, I want to see what's deeper in the forest before we head to whatever the Leviathan is at. Is that like another village? I like another village. No, it leads to some other area. So this place is a lot bigger than I'm thinking it is too. All right, let's continue. This place is a lot bigger than I'm thinking it is. I was under the impression like, yeah, this place is a huge like island, whole huge island, but like for it to be this big, yeah. Seems there's a lot to explore. It's all good though. I will explore the other areas and see what's going on. See what's going on over there. Oh, well, maybe I'll find the chest. So I, I'll go look in real fast and see if I can't find anything. I might find the chest and I might look up and get some good items, but I don't know for sure if I can get any items or not, but it's all good though. Alright. Ooh. See? Sometimes it pays off. Is that it? Alright. Let's continue. This is one path. I can't even go this way. That's one path. A broken bridge. This place might get unlocked after I leave. After I get done with the Leviathan situation. That's probably what it's set up for. We won't find Walius this way. The sea lies behind us. You think I don't know that? I know. Yeah. I know just as well. What is that? Oh yeah, that look like something strong to fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's how it was. Get to cooking them. Look at that. Get to cooking them. That thing is quite strong too. That was it. Kind of disappointing. All right, let's go deal with Leviathan. I found it there. I wanted to find over here. It might have been part of another side mission too. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I feel like it was though. Even if that was the case, it's all good though. I just head back and other fixing the bridge. 
No, I still haven't mended the bridge. Hmm. And I never bloody will if people don't leave me to my work. All right, I'm sorry, man. Unless you do your thing, man. I'm just asking. I'm not the guy who, uh, I'm not the guy who forced you out here. Someone is in a foul mood, aren't they? All right. Well, I suppose too soon. Looks like there are more battles ahead of us. Are those Tomberries? They are. Sweet. I'm already knowing. So they got time bears here. Yeah, I'm time bears don't play on games. I can't waste no time with them. I'm already knowing. Time bears go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they go crazy. Time bears get you one good knife, one good hook with that knife, you might be cooked. I ain't gonna hold you. Man, and worry about them. That's it. All right. Okay. Now we're talking. Yeah, check this out. Okay. Mm. I need to go use my living break. So with it and I leveled up. That's all I'm talking about. There you go, that chest. Fool's go. Ding, how far away they got this on um, surge at? Man, this surge is real far. I can smell the sea. So can I. It's not far now. So can I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Hey, I'm getting a lot of XP for doing this. Y'all know. Y'all boys going up in the air. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I might have went too far that time. Alright, that's it. Create a tornado, we got to cooking them. Alright, we're not too far now. Surely there must be more waiting for us up here. At least I hope so. Okay. So we reach the surge? We'll follow the coastline north. There's a bridge that'll take us across the cave. Hmm. Okay, so you gotta spread out all over this area. Ain't no point in me fighting every single thing over here, though. I mean, they're all pretty much about the same level anyway. I will get the orbs, though. The like glowing orbs. Might I inquire about the ray of light? I've been wondering about that, too. It's what prevents the surge from being reclaimed by the sea. Uh. And Wallace by his people. Okay. This place is pretty, this would be a giant land too. Anything else over here I don't know about? Uh, I never seen this little area. I don't know what's back here. Well, let's see what's back here. Is there another chest back here? Oh yeah, let me get all these. Bit. See, it pays all look into the little nooks and crannies of places and new maps. You never know what you might find. You might not find nothing, but in the end, you might also find something that's worthwhile. I got a lot of material. Okay, so he really was alive. All right, I did not expect that turtle to be alive. Well, rock. I thought it was a rock to be honest with you. Oh, spicy now, I mean. Binding. You want to play that game? We can play that game. You can play that game. You want to play that game? We can play that game. Look at him. Look at that. Straight hands. I'm not playing no games with you though, huh? Got your little bite in. You ain't see nothing yet. I get you. What a shame. It's over. Oh. Oh, okay. Almost. What a shame. And there's that. We need no point in finding that with that turtle. You 
said before that the child is bound within the surge. But you've yet to tell us how we're meant to reach him. I trust we won't have to hold our breath. No. The surge wraps around the cape without engulfing it. If we continue to its tip, there is a path down to the seabed. And the wave's origin. All right. It won't be the first dominant we've met at the bottom of the ocean. What other dominant did they meet at the bottom of the ocean? I don't remember any of the other. I mean, Titan wasn't like that. Garuda wasn't like that. Uh, Shiva, uh, not like that. Who was at the bottom of the ocean? I don't remember any other. Uh, but, uh, not no Dominic was at the bottom of the ocean. Oh, now uh, Odin, huh? <laughs> I forgot about him. Technically, that was the bottom of the ocean, the actual ocean floor, huh? Not much further now. The path seems well kept. Do you and the villagers often come this way? Only me. Once every new moon without fail. It is my duty both as village elder and Walius's descendant. But surely no one blames you for what happened. Why should you bear the responsibility alone? You misunderstand. I do it because I want to, to show him that he isn't alone and that there are still some of us who would see an end to his suffering. Suffering you will soon witness with your own eyes. The forest grows quickly here. Left unattended, the path would be reclaimed in a matter of moods. You know, i am be honest, I'm not kind of comfortable fighting against a baby that just so happened to have an entire icon within it. I'm just saying. I mean, how does it even work? Point the way to the child. It does indeed. Look at all the droplets of water suspended in midair. Where they have remained untouched by time for 80 summers. It's... It's not right. No. It's not. There. Up ahead. in the center. Follow me. He's still primed. I'll never forget my first priming. The fear. And I was old enough to understand what was happening. One can only imagine how this poor child felt. He is the victim of an unforgivable sin. Committed by people who saw him as nothing but a means to an end. He must be so frightened. Then I'll ease his burden. 
You don't mean... I'm not going to hurt him. Contrary to the tales, I don't go around killing dominance for no reason. What if I told you there was a way to remove Wallace's icon? I tell you, you were a madman. It's hard to believe, I know. But it can be done. Oh, it isn't without its risks. Part of the icon remains no matter what. So, it might still come to violence? I don't know. It depends on the dominant. I've seen things unwell, and I've seen things spiral out of control. But I do know one thing. If we turn our backs on this child, there will be no end to his suffering. And I think that a worse fate than the alternative. Don't you? Very well. Do what you must. And whatever happens, I will own the consequences. Bear the weight. I think so. I can feel the icon inside me. But something's wrong. Power of water, Clive can a portion of Icon Leviathan's essence. So tuning Leviathan not only change the elements aspect of magical spells, but also allows access to several new Icon abilities, such as Crosswell, and his group of rush of water from its enemies from multiple angles. Abilities he feels trying to make me in. Leviathan's feet. Leviathan is iconic. There's a few serpent cracking you some of arms for arms. So, yeah, okay, that's good. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Title gauge. Using these attacks would deplete a title gauge. And become me unavailable when the gauge is empty and gauge will slowly reprint over time if you feel quickly by pressing O. Row. So you're using service cry. R1 again while dodging is row extending. Reversing our title turn ropes. All the Leviathan abilities are available during this battle. Bro, what? Oh, okay.
Alright. Dude, you should just fall already. I think I'm getting kind of used to it now. I know that was the Leviathan. That thing is way too small for that. So apparently the baby's angry. Wow. Is everyone all right? He seems calmer now. You said Walius was frozen in time. That he knew we were here. How? I... I don't know. He's never reacted to anything or anyone. Until now. The child has been bound for nigh on a century. If he has been conscious from the first, we must remove the seal at once. It's not that simple. I wish it were, but... There's more to this tale. It would be better if I explained back at the village. I see. Then let's return before it gets dark. I'm sorry, Walius. I will make this right. So, part of Leviathan is inside you now, is it? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore, anyway. Good. Because I still have need of your strength. If you want to know the rest, we should head to the Witten Hall. Of course. So when you had a wind hall, right? Before we had a wind hall, let me buy some things first. Oh yeah, that's right. Since I have now gained Leviathan. Don't you look at that? Abysmal tears. Tsunami. Ooh. Now that's crazy. That's actually crazy. It makes you wonder now how to fight with a wind for Clive had he had Leviathan's powers during the time he went against Odin. He probably would have been he probably had a greater advantage against him, no lie. I'm not gonna deny that one. What does that do? Rip up the slowly expanded gateway. Oh, okay. And that's the gun. And the crosswell. Alright, for now we use those two. And I need to create a new lineup though. That's for sure. If I want to use it. Starting with Leviathan. And a tsunami. Wait, 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 wait. Should I add Ramus to it? I don't think I got one where I got like Ramu equipped, do I? But then again, that's not really necessary to have Ramus equipped though. Let's see, Bahamut.
Uh, yeah, the lightning rod. I'm trying to tell you, bro, it's one of my favorite techniques right there. And then you know we gotta have a giggle flare. Y'all don't even, y'all already know, bro. Y'all already know. Should I throw Odin over here? I haven't had Odin to my list in a while. I should I throw Phoenix in there again? Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do. What I want to do. That judgment bow is something nasty. Nah. Well, do I have do I even have Roman Kinetic to any of these? I do not, do I? <laughs> I don't have any kinetic any of Alright, this had Ron then. Start about I don't even have him. I don't have kinetic any of these. And as for Bahamut, we'll just have him. Should I give Rhyme? Rhyme is a good technique. I do love that technique too. Now, Gunnir. Yeah, that's a nasty technique that does a lot of damage. Can't deny that one. Let's use Rhyme and yeah, have it like that. Alright. Let's see how it goes. But the problem is though, not low key though, is that one, I don't have anybody who has like a good, yeah, it's probably best if I have Phoenix, huh? But then again, I wouldn't have anybody who has like a good, what you call it? Phoenix here and Rhyme and then Gun here. Yeah, something I can add where I can easily like get close to my opponents without worrying about being too far away. And a good old flames of rebirth. Mm, no about these are taking it. Sorry. And that'll be working out better for me. And water and lightning combo. The broom is your war hammer. The broom is your war hammer. I don't want the broom to be my war hammer. And my steel's just as good as any. Ah, so you do have tide strike. So you you're getting new weapons. Oh, I can make it. Okay. I mean, it's still weaker than my current weapon. I'll make it if I deem it necessary. This this is all we have. Mm, that's good. That's good enough. Here you are. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. Alright. Now let's go figure out what is the deal with the baby trapped in time. And the baby's been conscious for the last 80 years. That's actually insane. And the fact that the baby's her great grandfather. So, how the fuck does that work? Did they have another child that is that, where she comes in descended from? So, it's like her great great grandfather? What a weird situation they got going on here. To understand the spell which binds Walius, you must first know who we are and what drove my forebears to commit such an atrocity. This tapestry is our story, the one that brought us here. After generations of wandering, my people sought refuge in Northeastern Storm some 170 years ago. But in exchange for our safety, the Gregorian Church demanded we renounce our faith and branded us heretics when we could not. To be exterminated as a lesson to others. And so was it chronicled in the Imperial histories, for anything less would have made the Church seem weak. Yet a handful survived. The few who did fled north and west and in doing so, discovered two things that would forever shape our fates. The first was an old legend, revealing how to make your very own Mother Crystal. I've heard that one before. Yes, yet it gave them new hope, however false. 
Our ancestors convinced themselves that they could recreate the divine if they could only find a strong enough heart. A living being capable of channeling torrents of ether. And the heavens provided. A dominant Oh, yes. They had stumbled across a nostrum in an ancient ruin, which they believed could provoke a sudden outpouring of a creature's ether. They meant to enrage his icon. Leviathan would have destroyed everything had our people not made their second important discovery. A means to stop time itself. Where did they find that? The Northerners had no such magic, so they would have used them. When our ancestors first arrived, the land was uninhabited, save for an old witch who lived on the highest peak. Her body had been consumed by the curse, a cruel payment for her long years of service to the Northern Thanes. So desperate were they to prevent the fall of Drake's eye, they'd forced her to devise a spell to stop time. But Drake's eye did fall. It did. When she finally perfected the necessary magics, it was already too late. As punishment for her failure, the Thanes exiled her to this forsaken place to live out the few days she had left. Knowing her suffering, our ancestors cared for her as best they could, and in return, she gifted them her spell. That even though she should die, her legacy might live on. So armed with both the knowledge of the ancients and the secrets of time, our ancestors settled upon an ambitious plan. They would create a new Mother Crystal and enchant it that it might endure for all eternity. Thus would our people's one, our suffering, finally end, and prosperity visit us once more. And all it would require was the sacrifice of a single child. A small price to pay, or so they believed. Another victim of man's blind reliance on the Mother Crystals. So we know the seal source. How do we break it and restore the flow of time? Do you recall the Dome of Light on top of the cliffs to the west? Inside lie the ruins of an old temple. It was there that the witch built the Vare, a conduit of sorts that channels her remaining ether into the surge. But it's been a long time since anyone set foot in the place. And now, there are others who claim it as their own. Then we shall go prepared for a fight. That said, it may be best if one of us stays behind. You think the village could be in danger? We saw the ether flow from Wallius in all directions, but only encountered a single familiar. There will be more. And should even one make its way here, I doubt the walls could hold it back for long. Then I shall stay. The Phoenix will see your people safe, Tributary. You have my thanks. Very well. We should depart at once. I fear time may no longer be a luxury we can afford. The Vare is not easy to find. We must first head north, and then west, deeper into the forest. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's quite the story. So we need to go take down the place going up there and what's going on? Don't just try to breathe. That's it. Is everything all right? Ah, you're the outsider. I'm Fanit, healer by trade. And this is Talor, one of my patients. He took ill not long after you arrived. Nothing too serious, I hope. I hope so too, but... But? 
This <coughs> affliction, it's like nothing I've ever seen before. He complains of feeling chilled to the bone, but there's no fever to go with it. And my most powerful Antalgic hasn't done a thing to ease the pain in his chest. I'm starting to wonder if his condition might require a different kind of treatment altogether. Shula said that you were here to help us. You couldn't help me, could you? I'd be happy to, if I can. You can, don't worry. All I need you to do is speak to Talor's son, Pavat, <coughs> over at the forge, and ask if he knows what his father was up to before he came down sick. <coughs> Something must have caused this, and I want to find out what. The trouble is, Talor's too weak to speak, and I can't leave his side for long. So while you talk to Pavat, I'll pay his wife word a quick visit, just in case she knows anything. Right. Oh, uh, do you need something? I do, though not from the forge. Fanit asked me to speak with you. She's looking into the cause of your father's illness, and wondered if you could shed any light on the matter. I see. Sorry. She shouldn't have dragged you into this. It's no trouble, really. Tell me, did your father do anything out of the ordinary before he fell ill? Not that I know of. But then I hardly see him. He's always out and about, like. Well, at least he was. Suppose he might have been a bit more fidgety than usual, but apart from that. When you say out and about, where does he usually go? Just round the village. Wanders over to Blazia's place most days. He's a fisher who lives on the other side of the fount. They're old friends. Maybe he knows something I don't. Maybe. I'll go and speak with him. All right. I have a lot of missions about up. I'm not really gonna take care of some of these before I leave. But once I get into oh, that main mission, real. based on where is my main mission? At the gate. All right. So some stuff might require me to go outside anyway, so I might as well just start taking in some stuff. Greetings, stranger. What can I do for you? The name is Blazir, is it not? Pavard tells me you're a friend of his father's, and that the two of you may have spent some time together prior to his illness. His illness? Talor's never been ill a day in his life. I don't know why he'd start now. Oh, Fanny doesn't know either. It was she who asked me to look into his recent behavior on the off chance it might explain how his condition arose. Oh, uh, I suppose there was something that struck me as a bit odd. He kept asking about the woods. Did you see anything strange on your way back from the shore? Are you certain? Do you swear? That kind of thing. I didn't, of course. But he wouldn't let it go. It was like he was expecting something to happen. It was just a matter of when. Not that I know what. But he never told me anyway. Well, that certainly does sound unusual. And it might just be what Fanet is looking for. Thank you. Ah, don't mention it. Oh, and when you say to law, uh, wish him the best from me, eh? Let's see what the healer makes of this. All right. Surely the healer has a lot to say, but I'm already this way. I might as well talk to the person on a mission up here. His mission or her mission is the furthest away, so my lord, may I speak? There is a matter with which I would beg your aid. Of course, what is it? Please, not so loud. 
Something serious then? Yes. I think we might have company. I was passing by the law gate when I saw a figure moving among the trees upon the cloak. At first I thought it must have been you or your brother, so I didn't say anything, but... But the more I think about it, the more certain I am that the figure looked... familiar. Then you're sure it wasn't one of the other villagers? Positive. I think it was someone from outside the wall who has found his way inside. Of course, it could just be my imagination playing tricks on me. I only caught a fleeting glimpse, and it might have been you or your brother. But if it is who I think it is, we cannot allow him to leave now that he knows we're here. Would you go and see? Uh, he won't try to hurt you, believe me. Given what lurks in the forest, the only one likely to get hurt is him. Very well. Whether the man you saw is who you believe him to be or not, we need to know. It may yet be someone else entirely. Someone who means your people, or my people, harm. Perhaps. Just promise me that if you do find someone up there... Don't worry. I won't draw my sword unless I need to. Thank you. Yamila, this man you saw, might he be the customer you told me of? I fear so. The customer? I'll explain later. Come on. <laughs> 